All right, Justin Brennan, I hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming into this free quick training. It's gonna be about 10 minutes. I'm gonna try and keep it short and sweet, but give you some of the fundamentals it's gonna take if you wanna buy apartments, right? And when I'm talking about apartments, sure you can do duplexes, triplexes, and fourplexes. But what you're soon gonna find out is that really anything north of five plus units is really where you wanna go, especially if you're buying in areas not say in the coastal markets of the United States, but in kind of the middle parts, whether that's the desert areas or the Midwest or stuff like that, on a price per unit, you wanna go a little bit larger. And the reason why this is, is what we're gonna get into on the capital side in terms of debt, right? Where you can get a loan from a bank to buy the property. Because remember this, when you're buying a residential property, anything from a single family home up to four units, you're using a residential loan. The bank is going to underwrite you as the borrower and your willingness and ability to pay them back by your financials, not the property. When you go to five plus units, you're jumping into the commercial space where you're going to get a commercial loan from a local commercial bank or a large national bank. When doing that, that bank is going to underwrite the property, not you. So it's much easier to actually get the loan because they're using the property's financials, not your financials, to qualify you to give you the money. Big difference. And that's why I always recommend for all of my students and mentees, I want you to go five plus units and let's figure out a way to make that happen for you because your debt and your equity are gonna be much easier. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. So let's jump right in. Okay, the process of buying an apartment building. It doesn't matter how you shake it, you're gonna be going through one of these five processes as you buy this apartment complex, okay? You gotta obviously find the deals. People always ask, you know, oh my gosh, how do I find the deals? How do I find the deals? Well, I'm gonna show you right now how you do that, okay? There's really two different ways you find deals. You have on and then you have off. <laughs> and you're like, what is that? On market, off market, okay? There are websites, you know, whether it's LoopNet, I would prefer Crexy.com, Crexy.com. We're gonna throw it up here on the screen for you. Free site, go get registered. What this is gonna do is allow you to see about 30 to 40% of the active listings on the market in the United States, okay? When I say 30 to 40%, because the other side of it is the off market. Unlike residential real estate, commercial real estate, especially apartment complexes, at least half of the transactions are conducted pre-market where the local broker or direct to seller Right, that local broker, before it goes on some of these websites like LoopNet, Crexy.com, CoStar, and all these other big dogs, they're putting it out to their little sphere of database as a first look. Right before it goes to full-blown marketing, you get the pre-marketing stuff, which is why you see a vast majority of deals never hit the live market. They get sold amongst the databases of people and the relationships pre-market, right? Or pre-Crexy.com or pre-LoopNet, right? Or pre-CoStar, all of that stuff it's gonna go down within their database. So that's why it's important you start with the on market, go look at Crexy.com, go look at LoopNet, but I prefer Crexy. Find out who the brokers are, make note of it, make a list, especially for the market that you're looking in. Make connections with them. You wanna be calling them, looking at properties, taking tours, belly to belly, eyeball to eyeball, shake hands, give business cards, because that's how you're gonna build the off market ability, it's gonna come second. So that way you can get the full spectrum and see 100% of the deals come into the market. You're gonna get the pre-market stuff, which is the off-market, direct to seller, direct to broker. And then you're gonna get the on-market stuff that anybody can see, right? But if you wanna really see the deal flow, you gotta be able to get both. You start with the on, then you move to the off, if that makes sense, okay? So start with some of the crexy.com, get a list of the brokers, see who's representing those. Then you're gonna be going in, meeting them, talking to them, getting to know them off market within your area. So that way you can build that relationship and you say, hey, the next time you're seeing stuff like this, like the one you just showed me online, I'm looking for this. These are my parameters. Please send this to me, we'll buy it. And then you get onto their first look. And that way you can see the deals that are off market, which is at least half of the transactions, okay? So that's how you find deals. Now, analyzing them. You're gonna be using Proformas, right? If you haven't used these deal calculators before, we have one, we're gonna throw it up here for you to be able to download. It's a basic one. This would probably handle anything from two up to about, I'd say 30, 40, 50 units, right? It'll help you underwrite it from a property level and show you the property metrics. So that way you can plug and play with it. Anything on this, uh, this template that's in blue, like the blue squares, that's where you manipulate it and change the variables. 
Okay, and there's a video on exactly how to do this that we're gonna give you as well when you download it. So you'll be able to manipulate it on an Excel template. It's a basic pro forma that you can use for any complexes, really two to about 30, 40, 50 units from a property level, okay? So we want you to show how you analyze these deals and be able to underwrite them using the performance, right? Because that's how you have to be able to analyze these things and you're looking for certain metrics, right? If you want more details on this, we have obviously more extensive trainings, free stuff. You can download the free ebook. It's gonna show you a bunch of details on what you should be looking for when you're analyzing a property. When you're seeing certain numbers, when you're plugging and playing certain things, we have videos on this, right? If you want to jump in and see one of our, um, our mentor classes, we, I think we have a free little look. You can come in and take a look and see how we do things. I have a full blown hour that you can look at and see how we're teaching some of these mentees to go through this process, right? Of buying apartment buildings and how to analyze deals. It's a critical component, right? When you're looking to buy to make sure it's a good deal, and you're not going to get stuck into some kind of money pit that you can't get out of. Be able to analyze it correctly, what to look for, what not to look for, certain metrics and where you want those things to lie based on your market and your area around the United States. We go through all that, okay? But you're going to analyze it using a template in Excel pro forma, okay? I wouldn't recommend the online ones. If you go on to like some of the websites, Bigger Pockets, and some of these websites, they have these basic calculators. Meh, that's fine. But it's not going to get into a little bit more detail that you're going to need when you're analyzing something, especially if you're gonna be making a big money decision. So download our free Excel template, you can use it. No, no strings attached. And we have videos in there how to use it as well. And that way you can get in touch with us. And you wanna jump into one of our free classes, happy to give that to you as well too, okay? So capital, let's talk about capital. People asked me in our last class, you know, how do you raise the capital, right? How do you raise the money? You have to remember, you got debt, and then you have the equity. Okay? So I'm going to break this down for you. Let's say you had a million dollar property. And it was a 10 unit deal. Right? So it's a 10 unit deal. So that, what that comes out to is $100,000 per unit. Okay? A million dollar deal. You're going to be required to bring in at least 30%. The bank's going to require you to bring in 30% down payment. Right? So that's 300 grand. That leaves $700,000 in a loan that you're going to get from a bank, okay? Commercial bank. Under this scenario, it's probably going to be a local commercial bank, regional bank in your market. That's where the debt's going to come from. That's where your loan's coming from, okay? So $700,000 loan, $300,000 down payment, and then you're probably going to have some closing costs in there. Maybe, you know, let's, you could probably put another 20 to 30K in closing costs, at least. Maybe a little bit more, but that's give or take. So now the next question is, okay, well, I don't have 300,000. How do I get the $300,000 down payment? Here's the good news. If you syndicate, right, raising money from investors, then you as the sponsor, you the one sponsoring the deal, bringing it to the table, putting it all together, you're gonna bring in about 10% of that 300,000. So that's $30,000, okay? The other 90%, it's gonna come from investors. That's $270,000, okay? Friends, family, high net worth people, and you may be seeing yourself, well, I don't have friends, family, high net worth people that can give me that. You'd be surprised. Put something together in a nice pitch deck, make sure the deal makes sense financially, put it out into the market. What you'll find out is that people have money that have money that need to move money. They need to put it into asset classes that are generating revenue for them, okay? So very, very, very important. You're gonna raise this money. Don't worry about how, I mean, just get it together. We show you the how, we show you the details, we show you everything. But that's how a basic deal is gonna break down. That's a million dollars, $300,000 down payment, $700,000 loan. This is how you're gonna raise it, where you're coming in with 10%, raising 90% of it, okay? And that's how you're gonna structure the deal on the capital side. We dive more into this in all of our mentor classes, some of the classes we provide, some of them free, some of them paid. But take a look, sign up on our website, get all the free resources and tools, and when you're ready, We'd love to be able to teach you on a kind of a more detailed level for you if you want that, okay? So very, very, very important, but that's how the capital side is gonna work, okay? Closing the escrow. So when you're closing on a deal, there's a lot of due diligence you have to do. Financial due diligence, property due diligence, making sure you're doing proper inspections, making sure you're getting all the financials on the property, and make sure you have everything you need to make an educated decision on what to do. It's a free checklist that you can download on a due diligence checklist that you can get. If you click here in, you'll be able to get that, okay? And that's gonna be able to provide you due diligence checklists on when you're 
financial and property when you're buying an asset. Okay, we're gonna provide that to you for free. Okay, and that's part of the closing. You're gonna go through that and I don't wanna spend too much time on that, but critically important that you do financial and property due diligence before you buy an asset correctly. So you don't get you and your investors into a money pit, okay? And then lastly, managing the deal. There's two sides to this management style. There's property management and asset management. Property management and asset management. You hire a property manager, ideally third party, to manage the asset. You are gonna manage the managers. You're an asset manager now. You're gonna manage the managers. And yes, that means a little bit of micromanaging a bit until you can trust them but that's what it takes, right? You're gonna manage the managers, that's where asset management comes in, and then a property manager, local, is gonna provide the day-to-day on-site toilets and tenants, okay? And then you're gonna come at it from an asset management level. We show you how to do this in all of our trainings and courses and stuff. I don't wanna to dive too much into the detail, but I wanted to show you the processes of buying apartments. If you wanna learn more, Click some of the links here in, sign up for some of our free tools and services. We have some paid stuff, we have a mentorship program, we have everything that you need if you truly wanna learn the apartment game and kinda of get this passive income, financial freedom, pathway to wealth for you and your family, okay? Hope this makes sense. Quick little training, wanted to go over it with it. Any questions, please reach out to us. We're here, this is what I do. Our uh, company, the Brennan Pulley Group, we have over 500 plus units, over $100 million plus in assets in five states around the United States. I've been doing this for over 15 years. There isn't probably much anything you're gonna see that I haven't gone through. I've gone through the financial crisis, I've gone through the Fed crisis, I've gone through every, I mean, anything in the last 15, 20 years I've seen. So I can walk you through all these different processes from big deals, small deals. We started with a $100,000 condo. Now we're doing 200 plus unit deals with partners and all this big money stuff all around the country. So I can walk you through all of the nuance, right? Any process you're gonna go through from small to big. Okay, I hope this makes sense. I'm Justin Brennan and the process of buying apartments. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.